All right. So as we said earlier in the week, we were going to bring in a special guest, one that I connected with over on the Locked On Network through her coverage of college football. And then because of the banner in the background, knew that we were going to be kismet friends for a long time to come. New York football giants talk, a Locked On ACC host, Candace Cooper. Welcome into the show. And thank you for making a little bit of time early on a Thursday. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to meet a fellow Giants fan who understands what it's like. Because sometimes nowadays everyone just switch teams too easily, but you got to be dedicated through the good, bad, and ugly. Like every six years we get a, we get a Super Bowl. So like I'm cool with that, right? If that's what it takes. But looking at this team here, we're just going to have all thoughts and prayers. <laughs> and yes, Andy Makowitz obviously also here with me. It is, I, I think, Andy, I like that sentiment of this is, I think, why Giants fans end up being optimistic almost every year. Because when you go back and you say, remember that year when Eli threw 23 touchdowns and 20 interceptions? Yeah, that was a championship season. So, it, you know, it's yeah. you, sometimes the stats and the players and the personnel, we overachieve. And, and it ends up making you feel like, yeah, any year is a possible year. And Andy, you and I have talked about, right? Like, even when we have questions, many questions, we still feel like we can get it done. Well, yeah. it, you know, what the interesting thing about the Giants is when, you know, they play to the level of their competition quite a bit historically, right? The, the teams that end up winning the Super Bowl, to your point, Adam, are the teams that ended up going eight and eight, nine and seven, just sneaking in the playoffs and going on an amazing run. It's not the most talented teams that we had, you know, the Plaxico Burris year where we're, we're 13 and one and we look like we're the best team in, in, in all football. And then we end up having our demise. So there is a silver lining here in terms of like, not being the best, but being a threat here. And, and that's what I think we're all hoping for with this year's Giants. Yeah. So Candace, as we look ahead, we did our, you know, our our general overall season preview. And then I threw out record predictions and I, I somehow massaged myself right back into optimism. I don't know. I, I managed to do it in spite of a very dark off season. There were points where I was yeah. as low as I've ever been. But week one against the Broncos at home, the Giants are underdogs. I know there's a lot of players that we want to kind of touch on here. I open it up kind of as biggest concern for the Giants. And that can be on either side of the ball, you know, the Broncos and what they present or areas for us that you look at and say, is this going to come through the way we hope it will? What are the players or areas that you're looking at? Yeah, I think, you know, the fact that Teddy Bridgewater seems to be more of a threat than Daniel Jones, we all should be nervous because we saw what he did with the Panthers last season. So that speaks to me about Giants defense. Where are we at? We have good players. We have Leonard Williams holding it down, right? We have Logan Ryan trying to be that captain and that force, but it seems to never quite come together nicely, right? They always seem to be scrambling or trying to figure it out throughout the throughout every game. So if you can contain Teddy Bridgewater, I think that, you know, we can have a little positive pat on the back there, but also it's a big year for Daniel Jones. I mean, you have Saquon Barkley back. It's no excuse now. Like we were making, oh, he's figuring it out. I don't know how he got picked six, six still to God. I'm like, cut, Coach Cut has to have the greatest <laughs> sales pitch of them all. We you know we talk with him and about Duke all the time in my college show. And I'm just like, he has got to sell the dream. And so I think Daniel Jones has a very big prove it year because we've seen the wheels. We We've seen him take off, but I don't want to, him to have to scurry all season. I want our offensive line to figure it out. <laughs> like games are won and lost in the trenches <laughs> right. and offensive lines just somehow, some way we have got to just give him time. Like as much as he has some very questionable passing attempts, it's also, does he have time to be able to, you know, make the good play? So though every part, every part of the ball, you know, special teams, like it is what I'm just like, it is what it is. Like if we can yeah. just, you know, Jabril Peppers, if he's the kickoff turner, if it's somebody else, fine, whatever. But I really want to see how our trenches hold up, you know, against the Broncos this season. 